Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Welcome back to Worth Guitars. I was out here this morning getting ready to go to work. I have a ton of stuff to do, drinking some coffee, walking around, looking at things, thinking about our next builds. We got a bunch of great builds coming up. We're getting ready to do a really pretty, couple of really pretty T styles, one for Chris Johnson, one for Ethan Gardner. Um, both of these are gonna be very cool guitars. Travis Gates guitars coming up. I'm getting ready to do his uh, fretboard today. Very cool fretboard, uh, something that's meaningful to him, very meaningful fretboard. Uh, that's gonna be great. But before I got started, I was over there digging around in the wood bin and I was looking at some of the stuff I've had sitting around for a while. And I thought I'd show them to you. So if you are thinking about getting a guitar in the future, these are some of the choices that we have available. Any of these can be put on a T style, like this one here that we're getting ready to put together. And this is one that we've just had parts for for a while. We're finally trying to get it put together. We try to make parts from time to time. This is a nice T-style reverse inline six. Sapili top, Sapili body, solid Sapili body. Very pretty Sapili body. We're going to put a black pick guard on here with the HSH pickup signature. And uh, this will be just a hardtail. A little rock and roll machine, you know? Okay, so any of these types of woods will be great on a drop top like this or one of the Celine models that we do. And that would be similar to, hold on, let me grab it, our Celines. This one has a beautiful Claro walnut top. And any of these pieces would fit on a guitar similar to this. All right, let me put this up. I'll be right piece of maple right here that I found that I forgot I had would make a really nice one piece flame maple top on a T-style. It's just big enough to do a T-style. Let's see if we can see what this grain looks like. I'm gonna get you over here a little closer to these pieces of wood so that you can see what this grain looks like when you get a little finish on it. All right, so hang on one second. Here we go. Okay, so these are some of the pieces that we have available. This is, like I say, a one-piece flame maple top. I was gonna use alcohol, but it evaporates so fast. I'm gonna put a little water on it, just let them dry real good before I put them up. So you can see how this grain just stands out like crazy when you get some finish on it. This wood is so dry, it just drains it right up. Isn't that pretty? That could be a very, very nice one piece T style build. Beautiful piece of wood I've had for years and years and years. As a matter of fact, this was stored over on my good friend, Reggie Bennett, who lives on the Eastern Shores farm for many years. This is a very well seasoned piece. Then I have probably one of my favorites, which is this piece here. And this is Spanish cedar and Spanish cedar is just beautiful. I mean, it's ridiculous how pretty it is. The wood just comes to life. And look how pretty that is. Nice book match, really nice book match. Very pretty piece of Spanish cedar. Okay, that's one. This is a piece of cherry that I found that I thought had some flame in it. I glued it together. You don't see cherry on guitars very often. And I thought it was pretty. It's, it's not as flashy as a lot of the other tops are, but it is a very pretty piece. With some clear finish on it, it would be beautiful. That, very nice, huh? Okay, and then of course this piece here, back to the flame maple. This would make a beautiful Celine style. See, this wood's dirty. Let this thing come to life. Beautiful piece, right? And then we have this piece here. This would make a great looking T style. This is book matched. Put a little water on it, see what it looks like. Look at that thing. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful wood. 
That would make a really nice looking T-style top. I think we'll talk to you there. All right. And last, well, actually I got a couple more. This is quilted sapili. This one was sold, but it's come back on the market. And um, this was going on Michael Payne's guitar. But Michael decided he would rather have a quilted maple top. And there is your quilted sapili, which is just stupid. It's so pretty. Okay. Got a couple little knots right there, but that just gives it a little savoir faire. All right, I don't even know what that means, but it sounds cool. And last but not least, a very pretty little piece for a T-style. Oh, man, that one's pretty too. Okay, and you can imagine this with some nice color on it. This would look really nice with a tobacco sunburst. Or even one of those old school sunbursts where it's amber, kind of a yellow amber color and then out to black around the outer edges. Man, that would be tough looking. With black hardware, yeah buddy. Yeah buddy. Hold on, we moved the camera back out of the way. So that's where we're at. We got some pieces of wood for sale. These pieces of wood for sale come attached to guitars. So let me know if you want one, all right? Just some, some uh, choices. A few choices. We got Ethan Gardner's, Ethan Gardner's neck getting ready to come out of the clamps today. Wah. Maple, purple heart, maple. That's coming out. It's getting ready to be turned into a neck. And it'll look like one of these here directly, which turns into a neck. So I got to get to work. But I wanted to show you these things before we got started today. Quick video. And that's all I got for you for now. So you guys have a great day. Be good to each other out there. Get out there and see some bands and support your brothers out there playing some rock and roll or country or blues or whatever it is that they're doing. And we'll see you out there somewhere. Peace, be good to each other, okay? Bye now.